Well, I am not in continuous contact with the technician. I have to go to Luxembourg, which is a couple of hundred kilometers away from my hometown, Mainz. Uh, but I went there several times and I was in dialogue with the technician talking about preferably technological problems or physical problems. So in this case, I cannot give you a special answer to this question. But we had a very impressive uh, transcommunication contact between the United States, Luxembourg, and my hometown Mainz. Uh, Mr. Meek from the Meta Science Foundation in Franklin in the United States received a message through a channel, through a mediumistic channel, that Lifeline, which is a, a contact group on the other side, wanted to give a message through Luxembourg. Mr. Meek telephoned me because he had no direct contact to the Luxembourg couple Hasch-Fischbach and asked me to mediate this message to Luxembourg. I did so, and in the next evening, at the fixed time, the Luxembourg people switched on all their devices, and they received a message which was originated by the technician in mediation, and then Lifeline was coming through with a special speaker, and he gave a message directly to me. Uh, after they closed down, they phoned me and gave this message, which contained mainly a remark referring to an earlier discussion which I led several months ago in the United States about the existence of the great masters in the beyond. No, really, I have no complete explanation I could only give some sort of uh, suggestion about this fact that uh, the development uh, till now is only going on in the northern hemisphere. Uh, maybe it depends upon the special way of thinking because in the northern hemisphere we have more technical and more technological advancement than in this house. and. Uh, uh, seeing Brazil, I understand that in Brazil you have a lot of uh, communications with the other side by means of spiritualist mediums. And so maybe there is not so big a necessity for technological development. But as far as I understand, the first steps are already done in your country and we hope it will improve. Well, I think normal electronics cannot explain this fact. From the other side, they told us that they send the energy into the electronic parts of this radio. I feel that uh, our normal science and technology is not able to explain any paranormal phenomenon and especially not the facts of transcommunication. I think pure physics, as we know it today, is unable to explain these phenomena. Burkhardheim's theory can be considered as a combination of psychophysics. He added to the normal four dimensions, two more dimensions, and in his system it is possible to theoretically and mathematically describe the possibilities of transcommunication, but so far there is no application uh, coming from his theory. So we have an, to enlarge our physics to include these phenomena. I feel that the other side people are able and willing to help humanity but it is more a help to help ourselves. It is not a direct help, but they give some advice, they give some impressions, some ideas, some, some impulses, and we have to work it out. Uh, especially with respect to the technological development, I think they are very slow in giving us special details 
because they are afraid that we might use this information for bad, for bad things or for worse things as we use our scientific knowledge today. Naturally, I cannot answer this question. I suppose that those spirits or the deceased people have got their ideas or their thoughts and that these thoughts are somehow materialized into our system. It's a sort of projection process and some of them, they told us that they have to synthesize our speech. But on the other hand, nobody in psychology or physiology will be able to explain how these thoughts which we have in our mind or in our brain are able to move our hands or our body. I think transcommunication may help to change the mind and uh, the experiences of men, open new vistas for the reality of other realms of consciousness or other worlds, and if the quantity and the quality of these contacts will improve during the next years, it may well be that a change in humankind goes into the direction of more love, more freedom and more responsibility. When I started my first experiments in electronic voice phenomena, I got one message which I should like to give now to the Brazilian operators. From the other side, they told me, sit down and repeat your experiments and be patient. Have patience and exercise. 